Hello students. We're on our next lesson in the unit about empathy. This lesson is about understanding perspectives. First, we're going to look at a quick photograph activity, and then we're going to hear the next part of Jenny's story. Then you'll learn what it means to have empathy. Now look at the photo on the left. Wow, doesn't it look like that dog is walking up and down the wall? Hmm. Then look at this exact same photo, but turned a different way. Oh, now it makes sense. The dog is just walking on the pavement. That's a fun way to see how different perspectives show different ways of looking at the exact same thing. Things can look or feel different from different perspectives. Thinking about how others see a situation helps. It helps you have empathy for them. Empathy is feeling or understanding what someone else is feeling. Now let's go back to the situation that we learned about last week. Remember at the end of that, we kind of predicted what might happen next? Okay, now let's see what happens when we learn what does actually happen. Well, that is a really nice outcome. So what do you think happened? Well, Kyle chose to apologize and to help clean up. So how was Kyle feeling when he ran off to get the paper towels? And how can you tell? When Kyle first bumped into Jenny, he felt amused. He thought it was funny. But after he noticed Jenny's face and understood her perspective, he felt concerned and he did something about it. Now I'd like you to think about how Jenny's feelings have changed. At first, she was pretty frustrated and upset, but near the end, what do you think happened? Next, let's look at Meg's reactions. Meg's feelings also changed. After Kyle bumped into Jenny, Meg said, look, Kyle's running away. I can't believe he would do that. What do you think made Meg say that? Do you think Kyle, did she think Kyle was spilling the milk on purpose to make fun of Jenny? Now, that's called jumping to conclusions. And that happens when we don't think or we think too quickly and assume something. When we get more information, like listening to what Kyle had to say, we realize that Kyle had done everything as an accident. And then, of course, Meg's feelings change too. Today in Seesaw, you're going to have an activity where you're going to be asked to look at different scenarios and imagine how you would feel at first and then later. You would show how your feelings might look like on your face. And here are three possible scenarios. One, you're about to present your book report to the class and then the fire alarm goes off. Two, you've studied all week for your spelling test and you missed one word. You're three, you're almost finished with your art project and the, then the teacher shows you a new paint color. Now for this activity, what you're going to do is think of just one of these scenarios and imagine how your feelings would change. Hopefully you'll have somebody around you to share that with. So today you practice noticing and understanding others' perspectives and feelings and you learn that people's feelings can change. These skills will help you have empathy for others. Thanks. See you next week.